Thank you for choosing Vetric and welcome to your trial software. Here you're able to make the most of your trial experience where we'll guide you through all of the options to help you get started. From looking at the trial tutorials, free projects and the option to create your very own Thinko account, all of which I'll show you shortly. First off, let's take a tour of the software. We're going to show you how to navigate your way around the program to get you started. There are differences between the different products depending on what features are available, but the interface itself is pretty consistent throughout. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use Aspire to show you around the user interface. Over on the left hand side of your screen is our startup tasks. Here we can create a new file or we can choose to open an existing file that we've previously worked on and saved. Or we can search our computer for the file and load it into the software. We also have the option to open a file that we have recently opened and that is displayed here under recently opened files. So let's begin by creating a new project. Now the first thing you need to do is set up your job type and job dimensions. Then we can set up the way that we want to set up our part in relation to our Z0 position and the XY datum position on the machine. And for those that have 3D programs, so Aspire and VCOV, you'll also see this option here to set your modeling resolution. Upon creating or opening a file, you'll be presented with this view. Over to the left, I have my design tab with all of the design tools I need to create a project. Here's my 2D view, and I can use this option also to tile my windows so that I can see both the 2D and the 3D view. Or I can create my design on the left in the 2D view, and if I create or import any 3D models, I'll see them here in the 3D view, as well as previewing my toolpath simulation. Well, we have the toolpaths tab on the right hand side of the interface and we'll come back to this shortly. In the design tab I have access to all of the drawing and editing tools to help me draw up a design. Where I have the ability to import vector files, bitmaps or 3D data. We've got vector drawing tools where we can draw shapes, lines, textures. For example, let's just go ahead and create some text now. So in the text tool, we can simply type in the words that we want to create and we're able to see that in both of our views. We've got various options to transform objects. We can size them, rotate them, and then there's lots of tools to help you edit objects. At the bottom, there are various tools to help you offset, array, and if you're using Pro, you can look at nesting parts also. Following that, if you are using Aspire like we are in this instance, we have access to all of the model creation and editing tools. And VCarve will show you a smaller selection to help you assemble your models. You have access to the sheet management tab, which enables you to add new sheets to your project. For example, if you were using different types of materials, you also have the handy drop down at the top here to access your sheet management for easy access and quicker workflow. Then there's the layer tab to help you organize your 2D data. That can also be accessed permanently from the drop down at the top of the interface here for ease of use. If you're using VCarve or Aspire, you'll have access to a components tab. So any 3D data that you have in your file will be visible here in the component tree, as well as from the level drop down at the top of the interface here, again, allowing for ease of access without having to switch tabs throughout the design of your project. If your product has a clip art tab, here is where your clip art can be accessed from. And once you're happy with your design, we can then look into creating the toolpaths. So let's switch over to the toolpaths tab. By using this icon, it enables us to temporarily close down the design tab and opens up the toolpaths tab on the right hand side of the interface. At the top is where we set up our material ready for machining. And then we have a series of icons that represent the different toolpath strategies, where the top row will display the 2D toolpaths, so profiling, pocketing, drilling, threading, quick engraving, and straight or stepped inlays. The next two rows will show all of the 2.5D toolpath strategies, where the first row shows the tools that typically use VBIT tools, for example, the VCarve toolpath, photo VCarving, sketch carving, prismatic carving, and the VCarve inlay toolpath. 
The second mode has more focus on 2.5D strategies that enable you to create decorative toolpaths such as flutes, textures, chamfers and mouldings. And the fourth row will display the 3D toolpaths, so that's your roughing and your finishing. And this toolpath selection will vary depending on what product you have. So let's take a look at one of these. Let's say we wanted to v-carve the text using a v-bit tool. So we simply go ahead and select the text and then go into the v-carve toolpath, select the tool and then go ahead and press calculate. So once we've calculated the toolpath, the software will automatically open up the preview toolpath form, where we're able to see the toolpath being simulated as it would on our CNC machine. We have further options to alter the material it's simulated in, and we can animate the simulation with a tool to give us a good representation of what we'd expect to see if we were to machine this. Simply press preview and we can adjust the speed to watch the toolpath in action. If you need help with any of the icons in the form and to learn more about the tools, then you can click on the question mark, where you'll be directed to the documentation where you can read everything there is to know about that tool. To watch a more in-depth overview of the software, then you can watch many of our video tutorials that you can find from the dashboard. So let's take a look at that now. So let's just close out. So here you can use this button to view our tutorial set. And if we click on that, it will open up our browser where we're able to take a look at all of the training content. And we've got various learning paths to learn specific features of the software and we can browse all of the tutorial categories. Let's say for instance, I wanted to take a look at all of the 3D assembly tutorials. I can click on that and you'll see it's updated and I can browse through the various tutorials that we've got available. For example, let's say I wanted to take a look at the how to make a 3D project with design and make models. I simply just click on that tutorial where I can watch it here. And if I wanted to download the files for this tutorial, I can do so by pressing this download button here. And on the browser, it will download an executable that we can then run to download those files onto our machine. Once downloaded, we can go back to the software and we can use this option here to open up the tutorial files folder and then we can locate that folder and we can see the files have been added here and we can simply open up the file and follow along to the tutorial to see how it was created. If you'd like to test the compatibility of our software with your CNC machine, you can do this using one of the sample projects that we've got available. Simply click here on view sample files where your browser will open up the trial machinable tutorials page where you can download the files and cut them on your CNC. Let's say I wanted to download the how to make a welcome sign file to machine on my CNC. I simply click on the project itself and then I could go ahead and use the download option here to download that file. Or we can then open up that file from our trial software where we can switch over to the toolpaths tab. We can look at getting this ready to machine on our CNC machine. And we highly recommend that you watch the full accompanying tutorial video to help you better understand this process. And once you've followed the tutorial along and have verified your settings for the material, tooling and the machine, you can then look at this option here to save your toolpaths. Now when we save our toolpaths, we need to save them out to the appropriate machine and post processor that we've set up. Now the post processor is what converts the XYZ coordinates for the tool moves into a format that's suitable for a particular machine control. In which case, I can save that to my desktop machine and choose the appropriate post processor to save this out to and then use the Save Toolpaths option to save those out to a format that my CNC machine understands, where I can then load the .tap files onto my CNC machine to cut the welcome sign. Now, when you installed the free trial, you would have been given the opportunity to run through the Kickstarter wizard to get your software configured for use, where you can search for your machine configurations online, and this allows you to search for and install a machine configuration that you wish to use from Vetrix online library of machines. 
If you find your machine, it will come readily associated with the compatible post processors and a set of tools with reasonable feeds and speeds to get you started. So as an example, let's use the search option here where the software will just download those machines for us and enable us to go ahead and search for our machine. So here we can select our machine manufacturer. In our example, we're just going to use the generic machine here. Then select the series, so we'll use desktop, then the model, it's so 12 by 24, and finally the configuration. So we'll go with the default three axis machine here and then press download. The software will inform us that we're about to install a machine configuration and if we'd like to continue, in which case we can press yes. And there we've successfully installed one machine configuration. Unable to find your machine? Not to worry. We can look at adding in the machine manually. So we're just going to press the next button here and then use this option to add a machine. So here we can give our machine a name. So as an example, we'll just call this one shop machine. We could enter a manufacturer. For example, we could just type in custom here. The model number, we could put in a controller in this case. So my machine uses a G-code controller. So I'm going to type G-code in here. And then we can assign a width and a height and select the units here on this drop down menu. So now that we have the machine settings in place, we need to associate some post processors to our machine. In which case we can use this plus icon here and search through the extensive list of post processors. I need G code. So I'm going to press G on the keyboard and that's going to take me to the posts that start with the letter G. In which case I'm going to take the G code inches along with the G code metric by holding down control and then press select and I can see that that's been added here. We can apply that and then press OK. And then we're all set up. If you haven't already gone through the process of setting up your machine, that's not a problem. You can do that by pressing this button here in the Save Toolpaths form and that will open up the machine configuration management dialog where you can go through and add in a custom machine or look at searching online for your machine as we just demonstrated. We also have a selection of trial compatible files that you can get from the free trial compatible projects page from the Vetric website. Here you can browse through the project collection and see all of the projects that will be compatible to cut on the free trial software. When you see a project you like the look of, simply click on the project, watch the video and download the project files where that will be saved into your download folder where you can simply extract the files from the folder and open them in your trial software. It's worth noting here that with all trial compatible files, you aren't able to edit any of the files for machining, you just have to go with the design that's been provided. If you want to create your own file, simply go to create a new file to create your own design, bearing in mind that the files that you create here, you aren't able to machine on your CNC with the trial software. The laser module can be purchased as an add-on to any of our core products, Cut2D Desktop, Cut2D Pro, VCarv Desktop, VCarv Pro and Aspire that are version 10.5 and above. This module enables you to create projects using hybrid laser and CNC machining all within one package. You can trial the laser package in conjunction with any of our core products by simply clicking on the help menu within the software and then choosing trial laser module. At this point, you'll see a warning that this is an add-on module and will need to be purchased separately. So we can simply hit OK and in order for this module to be applied, we just need to restart the trial software where the software will automatically do that for you when we press yes. With the software restarted, we can create a new file. And if we go over to the toolpaths tab, you can see the two extra laser toolpaths have been added in. There is the laser cut and fill toolpath and there's the laser picture toolpath. We've included a selection of CNC and laser projects compatible with our free trial software, enabling you to check it's right before purchase. 
simply head over to vetrit.com to learn more. To remove the module from your trial, simply go back to the help menu, click on trial laser module, where you'll be prompted to restart the software again. And that will take the laser options out the next time that you open the trial software. Become part of the Vetric community by creating your very own Vinco account. Within your Vinco account, you'll have access to our free projects, case studies, upcoming events, video tutorials, all in one place. From here, you'll be able to purchase, download or upgrade any of the Vetric products. Over to the right, you have the option to join the Vetric forum. This is a great place to get inspiration, tips and advice from people who've been using the software for many years. To stay up to date, why not sign up to receive our monthly newsletter? You can click here where you simply enter in your email address to learn about our latest free projects, events and more. If you still have questions after trialling our software, then please don't hesitate to send an email to our dedicated support team. They'll be more than happy to help you. If you're happy with everything that you've seen, you can click on the Buy Now button to purchase your software. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing Vetric Software.